NATO begins its largest military exercises against Russia. Building capabilities, cooperation and cross-border enforcement are in focus as military forces from several NATO countries are involved in three larger exercises inside the Arctic Circle this week. The three exercises are Joint Viking, Joint Warrior, Arctic Forge, Joint Viking and Joint Warrior. Include some 20,000 soldiers from seven NATO members, plus Sweden and Finland. While Joint Warrior is British-led and takes place at sea, Joint Viking includes warfare training on land. The majority of the troops participating are Norwegian, and the exercise is the largest in 2023 in the European Arctic. Most activity will be concentrated in Ofoten and Troms. Russia's all-out war in Ukraine has deteriorated the security situation in Europe sharply, over the last year. Up north, Finland and Sweden have decided to join NATO, making the area one theatre in potential war operation if Moscow should decide to escalate its conflict with Western neighbours. The three Nordic countries are already planning for sharing joint forces, but details on locations and responsibilities for air forces, navies and army structures are still to be decided. Simultaneously, as joint Viking starts, in Norway are light infantry and battalion headquarters, elements from the US Army in Lapland, training with the Jega Brigade in Sodankula. Joint Warrior is a Navy exercise training to protect the Norwegian Sea, including landing operations related to the joint Viking. Led by the United Kingdom, 16 warships and 58 aircraft from 14 nations will participate. The U.S. Army participation in Lapland is part of Arctic Forge, a drill aimed to train U.S. contributions to partner-hosted exercises, like the ones happening in northern Norway and Finland. The exercises are separate in structure, but with a common aim. Training allied reinforcement of northern Finland in case of conflict will automatically involve the northern regions of Norway and Sweden as allied weaponry will be landed on the Norwegian coast and sent through Sweden towards Lapland.